It's not funny, it's very sad. <clears throat> I, for one, am very upset. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I leave you alone? Yes, please. Okay. So here we go. We are plated up or bowled up in this case. I'm just going to put a finishing grate of cheddar over the top. Here we go. There he goes. I can get to these branches. Brilliant. I'd love to be up there wobbling around and getting to branches. Well, you see your lucky day. Because <laughs> it's designed for you. Good. <laughs> oh, I just broke it. What? How did you break it? Just pulled the, pulled the screws out of it. So now it's going to be nice and sturdy to stand on. Great. Amazing. Oh, what? Yeah. We'll have to bolt it. Great, I love extra jobs. Yes. What do you say? Beep! <laughs> I think what you say is, sorry, I broke the platform that nobody wants to use in the first place. Sorry to myself. Yes. So, very carefully repaired this mistake here with some, uh, some nut, nuts and bolts there. Uh, sadly though, it now doesn't close. Oh. So that is as useless as a platform. Yep. <sighs> this... Are these things all the same width? Can we go and claim a platform from elsewhere? I highly doubt it. Oh dear. Yes, you could say that. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's not funny, it's very sad. <clears throat> I for one am very upset. <laughs> Shall I leave you alone? Yes, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Finally fixed this F up over here. So we've got some stupid bolts that don't go all the way through back on and a piece of string, well, rope, that's longer than that one. That was the whole problem to start with, to hold it open. So okay. there we go. Good. Now we can put it back in the tower. Excellent. Yes. What I'm mm, not very pleased with myself, actually. No. <laughs> not at all. No, no. Okay, the, the scaffolding's moved. <laughs> Helen is ascending as I speak. <laughs> Let's see if she can get in. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why does my thing not close behind me? There we go. Oh. There you are, you're up. Oh. Can you actually reach anything? Yeah. Good. Don't push it, let it go. <laughs> she's up and she's pollarding. <laughs> right, time for a time lapse.
Oh dear. <laughs> yep, sawdust. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's the end of day two. Um, we've got a whole tree done. That's good. Yeah. Yay! Let's have a look at it. Yep. There it is, and all its spindly, limmy splendor. <laughs> And uh, I started um, making a start on this one over here and Helen's been doing this one, which you can't see because of the light. Yeah, the sun's directly behind it. Yeah, so it's, it's a silhouette, but we've got a few branches off here. Yeah, the lower, the lower stumps yeah, there are we off. Go. Yeah, don't there like the go. decorating tower, whatever it's called, this horrible thing. Sorry to you. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. Like, yeah. and, and see you in a sec. See, day see three. <laughs> Uh, what are we making today? <laughs> We've forgotten all of our lines yeah. because we haven't done this for ages, but we're back. We are. We're back in the kitchen. Um, and today we are making vegetable risotto yay sounds boring <laughs> but it's really tasty i promise um so what's yeah. in it yeah yeah what's in <laughs> what is in it god we really haven't done this for ages have we so we will be putting in a base of onion and garlic i've got about half a red onion here and a couple of cloves of garlic the risotto rice, of course, a <laughs> critical ingredient in risotto. Um, a selection of vegetables that I just had in, to be completely honest. I've got a leek, um, a small courgette, and a red bell pepper here. And I will be adding some lemon juice, which is why there's a lemon sitting on the side. Um, I've got about 500 ml of chicken stock here, just made up from a stock cube. We're not going fancy. Um, some cheese does get added to this recipe, a little bit of grated cheese. I've got some chilli flakes, I've got my seasoning, salt and pepper, and a bit of white wine. So let's start putting things in the pan. <laughs> Come with me to the hob. So I've got a couple of tablespoons of olive oil just warming up here on the hob, and into that I will be putting my onion and my garlic. So in they go, and I'm just going to let them gently heat through rather than fry, because garlic, I think I say it every time I cook with garlic, but garlic can get a bitter taste if it ends up getting and burned in the pan. So yep, definitely not on the lookout for that. Well, you are on the lookout for it, you just don't want it to happen. You don't want the result to be that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. God, we seem like amateurs, don't we? <laughs> well, that's because we are people. <laughs> we are people. <laughs> You're so unhelpful. <laughs> okay, so my garlic and onion have been going for about four or so minutes. So into those, I'm going to put all of my vegetables. And give it a stir and again we're going to leave that just to soften up for about another two to three minutes so come back soon <laughs> okay so my leek and pepper and courgette and onion and garlic have all been merrily sort of simmering away in my olive oil for a good sort of seven or so minutes now so into that i'm going to put my risotto rice and then into that i'm going to add my chicken stock and this is a risotto recipe that um calls for all of the stock to go in at once <laughs> add the whole lot all in one go my squeeze of lemon lastly for the liquids a good glug of white wine i'm going to call that a good glug <laughs> i'm going to add a little grind of chili flakes some black pepper and 
some salt in a second. There we go. And some salt. A little pinch of. This now has to reduce down. So it needs probably stirring every five minutes or so. It takes about, I would say, 20 minutes for this liquid to reduce down. So I will see you again with some lovely cooked risotto that we're going to add some cheese to in a, a short while. Okay, so we have been going, I didn't actually look at the time we started, but I'm going to say it's been about 25 minutes that this has been going. And you can see almost all of that liquid has been absorbed by the rice. It's lovely and creamy looking. Off camera while I was stirring it, I did add a tiny, I promise it was tiny, splash more wine because the liquid looked like it was running dry quite quickly. And now, just before we serve, I'm going to add in some cheese. Any kind of hard, sharp cheese works well. I think Parmesan works the best. Today I am using cheddar because I do not have any Parmesan in. <laughs> I'll let that cheese melt in. go and we are ready to serve so here we go we are plated up or bowled up in this case I'm just going to put a finishing grate of cheddar over the top there we go and this is super yummy served with some freshly buttered baguette which is just to the side so there you have it, creamy, <laughs> creamy stuff in a bowl, <laughs> creamy, tasty, um, healthy, it's vegetarian, it's vegetarian, risotto um, with, in this case, red pepper, courgette and leek, grated cheddar, um, chili flakes, black pepper, lots of yummy flavours, super warming on a winter's day because it is boiling hot. <laughs> you can probably see the steam coming off it on the camera. So we are going to tuck in. Bon appétit! Oh, it's a misty day three. <laughs> it's uh... slightly colder. Yeah, yeah. Do we have breath? We, it, in real life we do if, if not on camera <laughs> we're not vampires after all no no true uh yeah yeah so as you saw in the last scene basically uh we got one entire tree done and pretty much almost done on the second um have a look at what has come out to play today so we've got this which is our wood chipper and uh, because of this which is all the branches there which are numerous <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is just from like one and a few bits of tree. Uh, so, yep, they're going to get fed into... This guy. This. If we can, <laughs> Which... get, it, if we can get it started. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it kind of goes without saying, really, that that's what's going to happen to them. So that's my job today, because if those of you who are like technologically minded could slow down our um, time lapses, you'll see that there's a lot of me just going up and down ladders and just aborting once I get to the top. There's not a lot of work going on once I get there because it turns out I don't like being up the ladders. It makes me a bit scared. <laughs> so Paul's going to do the trees and I'm going to do the like chippering up of the branches that come off the trees. Because I think for everyone's sanity and no more off-camera tears, <laughs> that's probably the best thing for everyone. So yeah, let's get on with life. Let's do that. Yep.
So I'm up at the top of the terrace at the moment, looking delightful. Oh, <laughs> the joys of outdoor work. Um, because we've got a big tall branch on the tree nearest to the house that is leaning outward toward our electric cable um, and we don't want it to land on the electric cable I mean obviously the cable is very strong but just in case Paul has roped this second branch up and I'm gonna guide it um, away from the electric cable while he cuts so <laughs> let's see how that goes so there is Paul up in the tree and we've got a rope that you probably can't pick up on the shot because it's very small that I'm going to go down and pull on to guide this branch away. So, yep, let's get started. OK, ready when you are. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that didn't go according to plan. No. Oh dear. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just pull this tiny pathetic branch out of the way. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> going to have to come out. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> therein lies the problem. This uh, stick here is just nicely latched onto the electricity uh, cable that feeds all the electric into the chateau. Yay! <laughs> it's gone. Well done. Good work. <laughs> what was the point of that roping exactly? It didn't work. No, it didn't work, did it? Okay, so there we go. Um, it, how many days has this taken so far? It's been a good sort of 10 days. There was, there's 10 been, days? There's been a time skip. There's been a time skip of about five days between whatever the last scene was and today <laughs> um, because we've had a Sickly freezing... Child. Oh yeah, we've had a poorly child. She's fine now. And we also had freezing fog for about a week, mm. which just made the trees unsafe they were just the bark was so slippy that even with the harness yeah. Paul couldn't climb them to finish the job but it's been sunny so it's done now yeah. <laughs> let's have a look yep here we go we have four pollarded plane trees no mess because we cleaned it all up and um, it looks great. I think it looks great anyway. And also all the mulch we saved, of course. And that is over here in a ginormous pile for whenever we need it. So there you go. This is a shot from the other side. They're looking gangly and strange, but that's what they look like when they're pollarded. That was... A fair amount of work, I'm not going to lie, to do yourself, um, but at least we know it's done right. Ah, so there we go. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It was good. It's like 
it's satisfying to do it yourself. Just this morning, some random turned up on the doorstep um, proffering his card to say that he does a bit of shutter maintenance, a bit of garden maintenance, and would we like him to cut our trees? And I was like, well, we're in the middle of it, so mm. no. <laughs> so yeah, the satisfaction of not having to pay someone an extortionate amount is uh, very pleasing. And so. also it's done right. Yeah, exactly. Because, mm. you know, not his trees. He wouldn't care, probably. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, all good. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, like and subscribe. Share us around. Yep. And we will see you next time. Yes, we will. Bye. Bye.